everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, hope you're well, it's been a minute um, since I've filmed anything or spoke on here. I just apologise, I've just been so busy and trying to like, navigate my life a bit. Um, so sometimes it's easier to just withdraw from social media and then maybe come back when you're feeling a bit more like it. But who knows, so what have I been doing? I thought in this video I could do like a catch up um, and then get into a bit more nitty gritty about talking about where I think the industry, the events industry is at right now. So where have I, what have I been doing? So I've just been busy, obviously still on my placement. I had my review the other day. Um, so it's been, it's been like six, maybe onto seven months now. So it's going so fast, um, which is horrible because obviously I don't want it to go this fast, but it's brilliant. And then what else? I've been traveling. So I went to a fam trip to be the person. I've got one next week in Spain. So when I'm going away over like the weekends and then working in the week, it seems like there's no time to film. That's another reason um, why. But spring's coming. I feel like the days seem to be longer and I seem to get more done like when it's spring and summer. So hopefully I can be a bit more consistent. I've secured where I'm living for September going back into Sheffield. So I've sorted that all out. Um, and then it's my 21st coming up so there's a lot of things in the pipeline this year that I need to be getting on with but it'll be fine I'm just going to trust the process that it all works through and I want to obviously I would like to do another fashion series if I can squeeze that in um, perhaps maybe towards the end of the year so I'll have a look at that but yeah <laughs> So I thought I'd do a little section on where I think the events industry is at and kind of some insight of what I've been seeing in terms of recovery and kind of what's happening in the world of events and what could impact the industry as a whole because everyone is still recovering obviously from the pandemic the events industry got hit so hard like all of the hospitality sector got hit hard as well. I feel like people are really really wanting in-person events back definitely that relief of like oh finally we can be face to face and network and travel there's definitely that side for it but then a lot of people that are still um kind of being a bit cautious so kind of wanting a hybrid event but equally they are used to it you know if it's not in a desired location perhaps your event they are wanting a hybrid op option because it's almost just become the norm now to think oh well if i can't go then i can just view it hybrid um but that's not always the case. Hybrid can put in additional costs, especially if it's only a short amount of um, guests that want it virtual, um, but the bigger proportion want it in live. So it's finding that balance to please all attendees for any event. Um, I know Fashion Week in lots of areas, the Arab Fashion Week, they've returned live within a matter of, I don't know, less than a month, another show they're pulling out. So I think it's kind of like a, butterfly effect or like a snowball effect like once people and clients get over that first hurdle of an in-person event then it's like oh yeah we're back in the flow a bit and we really really enjoy it i've seen that the recovery that most event planners are looking at about 81 percent sourcing in-person events over virtual and hybrid so that's a strong number i think like i said it's good but i know the uk is struggling with brexit a little bit um within terms of important things it's definitely a lot lot cheaper in the eu and europe than the uk right now but i think everyone expected that this situation was going to happen with brexit a biggie that i will speak on which is really sad obviously is obviously the war that is happening with the invasion of ukraine from russia which is so sad in this modern day and age that something could be happening like this. Um, I know obviously this is gonna affect the events industry. It's definitely, I've seen the effects of obviously delegates that are coming from Russia, that are coming from Ukraine, can't. People that I've been on business trips with, I've seen their cards blocked, having to take multiple planes to get back to Russia. It's definitely a situation that the events industry are struggling with. Any big global clients, anything like that, obviously if they're withdrawing sales in Russia and that situation, I know the fashion industry, they are withdrawing sales, but I think there's still, some companies are still paying um, the employees they've got, but not selling any fashion goods in Russia. But as the whole, as the events industry, there is gonna be a butterfly effect from this. Everyone is gonna be impacted. Some people large, you know, the event managers in Ukraine, the clients in Ukraine, they're gonna be hit so hard. Um, and then the people that won't be hit so hard, they will feel a bit of a hit, but it's gonna affect everyone. And it's so 
irrational and not fair and it seems like we've just recovered from or on the recovery sorry from the pandemic and then we've been hit with this um i know venues and hotels are going to find this hit hard i know they struggled as well although in the uk they received some sort of help from our government in helping them kind of with the loss of the Omicron um, variant, the losses they made from um, cancellations and stuff like that, but the war will hit them as well. I think in terms of the war, all that can be hoped is that it is wrapped up as soon as possible, but in history we've seen wars stretch for six years, longer and longer and longer, so um, you can almost hope for the best, but don't expect the best almost you've kind of got a plan around it so I definitely think the events industry will be squeezed a bit further unfortunately but onto some more positive things in the events industry because obviously that is quite doom and gloom and very 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 sad is um obviously trends I'm seeing is sustainability I think we're coming out of not coming out of that phase like people aren't doing it but there was a massive boom um, last year everyone was saying like yeah we're going to be sustainable I think the result of COP26 as well which I think is a bit controversial in the way that I've seen a lot of hotels and venues put in the plan that they're meant to be putting in place but whether they orchestrate that plan and work towards that plan is a different different um kind of story I really hope they do if they're putting in these green initiatives and getting the green credentials I hope they're not doing it in the way of greenwashing just so they can advertise and say oh look we've got this green credential I hope they're doing it for the greater good and because they understand the impact that their venue or hotel has on the environment because obviously waste from hotels and venues is huge food waste um we really need everyone needs to be thinking about how they are going to be more sustainable thinking of incorporating renewable energy and just having a completely different mindset which I think the events industry was definitely very scared to approach because if you read anything about events industry and sustainability probably a few years ago it was very negative there was a lot of festival waste that was always a big headline of how much damage it's having and rightly so because it was but i think now more companies and more organizations have started the ball rolling on you know we're going to combat this and kind of have a positive outlook on our venues being green and our events being sustainable and calculating like the um is it carbon offset for all of the delegates i absolutely love that idea and i know some hotels and venues that are doing pilot projects on that and i think that's so so important and i was talking to someone in a meeting last year about in germany how they have like a little checklist of like you can rate how like sustainable and green your event is so it's seeing these little plans come in place i know overnight it's not going to be a huge change but we have to be working every single day to make that happen and for that to work but branching off from um sustainability and delving into a bit deeper i feel like recycling everyone knows about recycling then sustainability has come and now i'm hearing a lot about circular economy and repurposing and upcycling so kind of making good use of your unwanted goods almost definitely in the fashion industry about reusing the clothes don't just put them in landfill give them someone sell them make them into something new style it with something new you know there's all these different um upcycling initiatives that i'm hearing about and this is the same in events as well so i find that so so exciting and i hope it just hits off and everything goes well with regards to that in terms of the events industry on a bit more of a smaller scale in terms of um the business side of it i've been seeing some surveys and articles about diversity inclusion kind of rating kind of how diverse a company is and kind of reading in the statistics of obviously everyone needs to be represented and if there's an area that is lacking representation it needs covering because it's important to have this so another trend that i'm seeing is the metaverse kind of a subject that many people are intrigued by and can see that their industry will be impacted by it and it's the modern way and you're seeing obviously google microsoft investing billions into this so it's definitely going to be the future in some aspects whether it takes off and is huge and is the norm for every single day or if it's something you just incorporate maybe just for the event or just for um, another industry but it's definitely i went on to is it decentraland created my little avatar but i just feel like it feels like a video game still 
um obviously i'm guessing the big giants like google microsoft will be making it so it feels more like uh, real life obviously av and all of that i went to an event last year where they started to kind of use this i'm sure the platform was called expo and it was the virtual venue and it was very interesting but i don't know if i i preferred it to an in-person event i know you can say well it's from the comfort of your own home but i, I still think it takes it away that personal touch um a bit but obviously i know they're going to be investing in this um i'm probably trying to make it more and more real life as they can and on a positive note i'm seeing so many jobs in the events industry opening up on linkedin on indeed literally everywhere event assistants operation managers av tech support literally so many jobs opening up because obviously as the industry is opening up is more and more jobs but something that maybe needs to be considered is the people that are graduating this year and the people who have graduated in previous years but haven't been able to get a job due to the pandemic and then like the freelancers and the event managers that were established during the pandemic that have left the industry because they didn't have any business unfortunately will they be returning so will there be really although there's a lot of jobs is there a lot of people to fill those jobs and there still may be people that will miss out um because they're not experienced enough or they lack certain experience because there's not as many jobs as it seems if that makes sense so that's kind of my insight of where i'm seeing the industry at um it's always changing ever changing obviously the war is a big factor in this which is going to make a lot change you know jobs might be cut um sustainability might be cut because of prices but equally like the fuel prices raising hopefully it will kind of encourage people to go for electric cars and maybe use sustainability in that way kind of a force although i think if you have the money to buy an electric car then you should um but there's a lot of talk about how we can be more sustainable within ourselves and hopefully that will reflect onto the events industry as well i would love to hear your thoughts on where you think the events industry is at um in terms of perhaps more event planners booking in-person events or kind of sustainability initiatives you think venues and hotels should be taking i've had talks with certain hotels and venues and they some people just want to know like i was saying throughout all of this is everyone's always looking for guidance so it's so important to talk about where what you think could happen or ideas and putting them into the air so hopefully they take motion and hit off so talking's good networking's good probably that like post pandemic feeling of you've got to be in person and talking coming out right now but I do think it's really good to get talking and hopefully we can put these initiatives in place. Please comment, like, subscribe as always and I will try and be a bit more consistent in posting and giving you good content and kind of an area where lots of people can speak on and kind of a community that can come together. But thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day.